Tonight, a warning about e-bikes and e-scooters after a fire in San Francisco at an apartment. Electric bikes continue to grow in popularity. So is the number of battery fires associated with them, and some of them have been deadly. New York City's Chinatown, a raging fire killing four people. DNY Commissioner Laura Kavanaugh saying now a shift. Why Tian Lang Lu was cuffed and arrested at his e-bike shop in Brooklyn. Electric bike fires are becoming an issue in cities all around the world, especially as COVID accelerated the number of electric bikes being bought. It's gotten to the point where here in New York City, an initiative was introduced by the city that aims to support New Yorkers transition to safer electric bikes. It includes creating spaces where delivery people can safely charge their bikes throughout the day, called Deliverista Hubs, educational programs developed with the New York Fire Department, calls for New York State to introduce subsidies to make safer electric bikes and charging more affordable. It enables electric bikes and scooters to be ridden in parks and greenways and more. But one of the biggest things in here that affects the bikes that you can purchase is the requirement that all bikes sold, rented, or ridden in New York City be UL certified. So Velotrix sent me their new Velotrix Discover 2, their latest commuter e-bike for this video. And I figured I would explain what UL certifications are exactly and why your next electric bike should have one, regardless of where you live. <laughs> Okay, let's start with the obvious question. What are UL certifications? UL, or Underwriter Laboratories, was founded in 1894 as the Underwriters Electrical Bureau after William Henry Merrill Jr., a recent MIT college graduate, came up with the idea of an electrical testing laboratory for insurance underwriters while he himself was assessing fire risks of the World's Fair for the Boston Board of Fire Underwriters a year earlier. The name changed a lot since then, but essentially from this came the idea of certifying products against standards they set for fire safety and then expand it to just anything safety related. It is actually the single most accepted certification mark in the United States, appearing on over 22 billion products each year. And it is also very popular in Canada as well as Europe at this point. Now, UL has a ton of different marks signifying many different things, but the one we care about here and the most common that you'll see as an end consumer is UL listed or UL certified. UL certified is just a newer enhanced certification mark, they call it, that UL is actually replacing UL listed with over time. The UL listed or UL certified mark essentially means UL has tested that product in their labs to make sure that it meets nationally recognized safety standards. Next to the mark, you'll see a number. This is the product category, of which there are a ton. For electric bikes, you'll see UL2849, like we have here on the Velotrek Discover 2, which means that this bike has passed all of the UL's tests examining the e-bike's electrical drivetrain system, battery system, and charging system combinations. Now beyond that, UL has certifications for components as well. So for example, UL2271 is for batteries to be used in, quote, light electric vehicles, end quote, which Velotrek also got for their battery on the new Discover 2 as well. Bottom line, these certifications and others from other similar companies like the IEEE, Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, NEMA, the National Electrical Manufacturers Association, etc., means that they won't, you know, spontaneously combust. So how do you find UL certified bikes? Well, most companies will pretty prominently list them like Velotrick does on their site. Also again, in person, the bikes will most likely have the UL certified mark on them as well. One thing I recommend doing though is to actually look up on the UL site to make sure that the product is there. I put a link below to it and you can just select search a bridge site without logging in so you don't need to create an account with UL and then search for the manufacturer's name and you'll find them and the products listed there. Companies can say UL listed, but if they're not actually listed on the site, then they aren't actually listed, are they? The Velotrek Discover 2 is also a bike I listed in my recent best electric bikes for 2024 video as the best for the money. You can check out that full video at the link below if you want to see all of the bikes on there. But the UL listed status for the Discover 2 definitely had an effect on its inclusion. It's also well made, has Apple Find My built in, bright headlight, tail lights, and even turn signals. It's IPX6 rated, so you could even hose it down. It has 75 miles of range, a powerful Velotrick proprietary drive system capable of towing up to 880 pounds behind it, an app with a ton of extra features that you also don't need to use at all if you don't want to. It's super comfortable, and the list goes on. Now, if you want to check out the Discover 2, head to the link below, and there's also a coupon code there as well for a discount. Thanks again to Velotrick for helping me make this video. The thing is, regardless of whether you live in New York City with this new law, DC has also passed a similar law and something similar is going to spread across the US in all likelihood as more and more incidents have happened. And there you go guys, hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video. Always appreciate hearing from you guys and subscribe and ding the bell if you haven't already so you get notified when I do new videos. I'm gonna ride this bike for a 
bit longer before I lose daylight. So, bye. When you film near a dog park, like an idiot. Too many people making sounds and that's talking and stepping and running and being healthy. Helicopters, so many helicopters.